Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu dukhulu fi silmi kaffah wa la tattabi'u khutuwat al-shaytan O you who believe enter into Islam completely meaning take Islam as one unit as one body of guidance and instructions and do not follow the steps of shaitan the footsteps of shaitan the traps of shaitan he's indeed a sworn enemy to you some of the predicaments that we face not only in our times but in every time but they are quite common very subtle and that's why it's easy even for the good ones among us to fall for those traps of shaitan for those footsteps of shaitan and usually we fall into these seemingly with good intention and this is when we start cherry picking when to apply islam when to be a muslim when it's convenient we are happy to practice it but when it's inconvenient we start having other thoughts or maybe we give ourselves a fatwa or we start looking up online for the fatwa that matches our desire thinking I'm still following a fatwa and all of that is from the traps of shaitan shaitan is simply is playing with us when we fall into something like that Allah says enter into Islam completely enter into submission obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you submit to the word of Allah wherever it takes you whatever it entails whatever the consequences are it's the attitude of submission to Allah you say you basically saying to Allah oh Allah you are the one who says and I'm the one who obeys you command and I will follow your instructions As they say in the Arabic language, you are the tailor and I'll wear whatever you tell me to wear. That's how we are supposed to follow Islam. Islam. But as for us, started starting to or trying to gain control over Islam and making it more convenient. Well, it's normal for humans to search convenience, but convenience comes after submission. There is enough convenience in Islam. And if there is a situation where Islam does not allow us convenience, then this kind of strict state is needed. It's more like a medicine. So we are supposed to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.